Okay, welcome to video two. Um, we've opened Blue Voter. Uh, we've got a little menu in front of us here, and uh, we're going to click on Open a Blank Page. Okay, there we have it. Don't get too worried about all these little icons and, and things here. It does always look scary when you first begin, but you'll understand as we go, you'll understand what functions they actually do, and it, uh, it's, it's not that difficult. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on the background and we're going to go to page properties. Okay, there we go. Okay, under title, we're going to name our page. Now, I haven't really planned anything, um, so let's just, okay, let's just call it sound, soundtrack. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a website on say sound. Uh, this is just off the off the top of my head, so uh, I haven't planned anything. Obviously, you're going to have your website planned. You're going to know what what you're aiming for, what colors you want to use, uh, what objects you want to be put in, etc. I'm just going to just for the sake of showing you, I'm just I've made this up quickly. Soundtrack um, page width uh, page width. I'm going to set it 1,200. Uh, that's that's pixels. Basically, I set it at 1,200 because most of your head, headings, headers, and, uh, and 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 websites are generally 1,000 pixels wide. Uh, sometimes I go down to 800 wide. Um, that's your header. So I set it at 1,200. Then I've got space on either side. Page height is not important at this time. We will set. I'm just going to set it on 1,000. Pixels. We can set it as we go. As we add content and the page gets longer, we can just extend the page height. Okay. You can also do both of these uh, by dragging this little what do you call it? Little icon thing uh, bar. If you drag this down to the right, you'll extend the width of the page and it, it'll change in here. Or you can do the height down on the left hand side over here. I like to do this here and get round figures. Okay, your file extension, we're going to be mainly using HTML. 90% of the time, 95% of the time, you'll use an HTML extension. Uh, the only time you will change it there to PHP is when you use um, membership, membership buttons or when you um, capturing data of any kind. Uh, as in these buttons, yeah, the sign up and the login, etc. That is when you'll use a PHP, but that will come at a later stage. Don't worry about that now. We will deal with HTML as your basic format. Okay, so that's all you do on this page. You can, yeah, center page. I also normally forget this. Center this page in the browser window horizontally. I always click that so your website is positioned in the center and not when you open it uh, sitting on the left or right hand side. Okay, formatting. This is your background color that you can change. Um, you can change it to any color you want to. For now I think I'll just choose a nice gray. Okay, um, this is a very nice tool. I love this little select button because if you click on that you can actually select any color anywhere. Um, if you look, even if I go up here into into your little tools and your toolbar, uh, it's picking up every color. So basically, if you uh, bring on an image or uh, uh, your logo or something, and you need to pick up colors off that, all you go is you use this little select tool and you select a color off there, so that you can keep everything in the same tones or use the same colors, and it, you know make it blend in. In, in nicely so I'm, but for now I'm just going to choose the grey and say ok here's your background yeah in the image uh, you can put a little image here for tile if you want to uh, put tiles in the background that we'll do at a, at, a, at a later stage I'll show you that but for now we'll just keep it there here's your link colors what your link will look like live uh, if you activate it what color it goes etc your fonts and the size of your font I will just leave it there. You can always change it later. Uh, okay, meta tag. This is important. Author, you put your name in there. 
keywords this is where you will include all the keywords all this research keywords you're using uh, for people to find you in the search engines uh, for organic traffic when you you want the search engines to pick up those keywords uh, you put all your keywords in here this is a great place um, to really do research and to put your your, your keywords that people are going to pick up page description this is what people see if they find you on on say Google and they and they and they see the heading underneath will be a page description this is where uh, what will show so make sure you put a good really nice page description with your keywords in and um, yeah basically the search engines will pick that up those are the only three I'm going to use that's all we need to do I'm going to click OK and as you can see there's the gray background we changed it's now 1200 uh, pixels wide uh, it goes down a bit okay fantastic uh, what I normally do is I like to if I go right onto the left hand side into this ruler and I drag uh, a left click and I drag out I put a nice uh, guideline right dash in the center so I know where the center of my website is and it's much easier to work with okay great okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce you to your next tool okay and this tool I believe and not because I'm the creator of it I just believe it's just uh, a fantastic tool to have I've, uh, I've started using it since I've created it and it's just helped me so much it's a website called I am Doodleby uh, the link is at the bottom of this video it has all kinds of graphics headers backgrounds and everything you need to create websites and it's going to make life so much easier so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right up here uh, to these. These are your basic uh, tools up here. I'm going to go to image there. And I'm going to go into my IM Doodle B. I'm going to find a header that I like. I've used gray, so maybe I should find... Let's work with black. Okay. There we go. There's a header. I'm going to now drag it click and drag and place it there so it's in the middle I'm going to use my arrows on my, th on my uh, keyboard and just pull it up boom, boom, boom. not too high just bring it down high oh, okay take it right to the top so it doesn't go anymore I'll just start there I can see if it's centered just boop boop okay there centered and there is my heading zappy doodle okay so I'm also going to I want a bit of sound so uh, a, a sort of a sound emblem so let's go back I'm going to go into I am doodle B graphics and I'm going to find something to do with sound um, obviously you can plan this beforehand and know what you're going to use but I know I've got some nice headphones yeah they're all in the different sizes um, pixel wise this is 256 pixels so let's open that boom there we go how does that look that looks cool now as you can see we're already forming a uh, we're already forming a whole web page we've got the heading up we've got a uh, we've got the headphones and uh, let's just take a quick break and uh, we'll carry on in the next video